Hey friends, now we will discuss in this section installation test or proof test in detail. Uh, to check the healthiness of the installed equipment, we are doing this proof testing. The proof test is a simple quick check test used to indicate instantaneous condition of insulation. It provides no diagnostic data and the test voltage use are much higher than the voltage used in predictive maintenance test. The proof test is sometimes called go no go test because it tests cable systems for maintenance errors, incorrect installation, serious degradation, or contaminations. The insulation is decayed, declared acceptable if no breakdown occurs during test. Choose the test voltage. A proof test can be performed on equipment of any capacitance. It is performed with a single voltage, usually between 5 and 5 kV, for about one minute. It is common to stress the insulation above normal working voltages in order to detect subtle weakness in insulation. For new equipment, the test should be manufacturer's factory test voltage, higher than the rated voltage, and it's available from the cable manufacturer. So normally. Uh, when you are in, in the installation or commissioning phase and you're testing equipment first time, it is recommended to apply voltages which are more than the rated voltages because insulation is, is, is new. And if there is a slightest of weak, uh, weak, uh, weak uh, point or some, some issue in insulation, it will quickly will be diagnosed and uh, Basically, during installation, we are checking the equipment is healthy or it's failed. So that's why we are applying the voltage during proof testing, which are much higher than the rating of uh, the uh, equipment. For example, uh, during uh, uh, induced voltage test, we are uh, which is which was performed at much higher rating, almost uh, you can say. Uh, 1.5 to 2 times of a transformer as per the manufacturer recommendation and we chose to do the same test uh, at 80% of the factory value so but this will never be repeated in the life of the transformer and we will be doing only mega testing uh, which is equal or less than the applied voltages if you don't know the factory test voltage test using a voltage about the twice the cable rated voltage plus 1000 volts rated voltage is the maximum amount of voltage that conductor can be exposed for a prolonged amount of time usually printed on the conductor for single phase two phase or three phase systems the cable is rated phase to phase done at about 60% or 80% of that choosing the test voltage uh, the previously mentioned method should only be used for testing small and new operators because of its ability to withstand high stress voltages for larger or older equipment or wire use DC voltages C table 3 common proof DC test voltage not manufacturers test voltage used for testing rotating equipment as shown in table 1 so this is specifically for the rotating equipment so you can use this formula if you want to calculate the applied DC voltage. Uh, 